So now that the debt super committee has failed to reach a deal, here's where we stand. Automatic budget cuts are triggered to begin in January 2013. They include reductions in defense and domestic programs, including Medicare, but Social Security, Medicaid, food stamps, and veterans benefits will be spared. The president is pledging to veto any attempt to prevent the cuts from going into effect, but he says it's not too late to work out a deal. He's calling on Congress to come up with a plan to trim deficits by the required $1.2 trillion before the triggered cuts take into effect. Uh, and no matter who's right and who's wrong, all of Washington could feel the political fallout. I'm joined now by Republican Senator uh, Jeff Sessions. We've heard some Democrats uh, lay the uh, blame squarely with the GOP. I'm just curious, sir, we're also hearing a lot of outrage from a lot of Americans today. Are you hearing that outrage? Are you feeling that outrage? Or is this just another day in Washington? No, I think this is a, another day of failure, uh, but I do believe the outrage has been building for quite a long time. Good Americans working hard, taking care of their families, woke up uh, and found that the government in, in Washington is borrowing 40 cents of every dollar that we spend in this nation. Europe and other places are suffering from debt, and the experts tell us we are too, and so they have a right to be angry at the mismanagement. And I do believe that uh, had the president president really pushed uh, for an agreement. Uh, had he been willing to tell the American people the depth of the crisis we face and present a real solution, we, we mm -hmm. could have done something more than just the minimum. Uh, we could have done something historic for the country. But the president will say he put a, a proposal forward. Uh, let me just ask you, Senator, uh, could Republicans have done anything differently on your side? Uh, was this just doomed from the beginning? Well, I tell you, I believe, not, I totally am confident that I, the Republican members of that committee wanted an agreement, and they wanted to do something more than that was just token, and they were prepared even to raise taxes to get it, uh, increase tax revenue, and they proposed that, uh, but they wanted to real, a real change in the systemic direction that our nation is, is taking, a, na uh, a, a direction to decline, to economic uh, decline, and we've got to get off that path, and it just amazing to me that the president would not be a leader and a player in that. I can't imagine a mayor or governor facing anything like this kind of debt threat not being engaged in the reform. So mm -hmm. we've got a problem here and, yeah. and I don't think the American people want to send more money to Washington. We had not had a budget in 937 days. They want to see us show some fiscal responsibility and, and, before we demand more money from them. And, and what about these triggered cuts that are set to, to go into effect starting in 2013, Senator. Uh, one of the big eye-opening cuts uh, that a lot of people are talking about, uh, your, your colleague Senator McCain has talked about this, uh, the Secretary of Defense Leon Panetta has talked about this, and that is the steep budget cuts that are coming to the Defense Department as a part of these triggered uh, cuts. Uh, are you comfortable uh, with those cuts over at the Pentagon, and do you believe, as others believe in Washington, that this will compromise uh, our national security? I believe it will go too far in cutting the Defense Department. The Defense Department makes up about one-sixth uh, of the uh, size of the spending of our economy, our, go our government spending, and this would take half the cuts out of it. Uh, it's just too much. Uh, so I am not, I, I think I agree with your a statement about the president's position. We need to we look at this sequester, make sure that the cuts are across the board far more, and it not so heavily directed toward the Defense Department. Yeah. I know there are a lot of people that dislike the Defense Department, want to bring those numbers down. But remember, this is not war. The war costs are entirely separate. The cuts we're talking about are, and they're coming down dramatically. Right. But and many of them, the, uh, the Secretary of Defense has already put forward. He's already put many of them on the table. Th these would just go farther. But let me just ask you, Senator, uh, the pr a political question. The president seemed satisfied, would you not agree, yesterday with the $1.2 trillion in budget cuts that are going to come as part of this trigger in, two in 2013. Uh, but polls have shown that Republicans are really uh, going to get the blame for this super failure, as many people are calling it. Politically, is that a win-win for the president? 
Well, the president, uh, I don't see how the president can win when he's not a player uh, in the great debate of our time. There's no greater threat to America than, the we, than this debt crisis, and he has refused to look the American people in the eye and to tell them how serious it is and to explain why we're going to have to change our business as usual. But and you acknowledge that I Republicans it, are taking much of the blame for this, perhaps more of the blame, uh, versus it, it, Democrats. That is true. I, I just don't know, but that could happen. The president has the bully pulpit in the short term, but in the long term, people are, are going to examine his leadership, and they're going to ask, has he helped to make this situation better? Has he proposed uh, tightening our belts in a significant way, something other than defense? And is he prepared to lead and tell the truth about the challenges we face? Uh, I don't think a mayor or, or as I said, a governor uh, would would mm -hmm. imagine not being engaged in such an important issue. Well, we hope to see all of you engaged uh, after the holidays. We all need uh, to. Yeah, and, and see if we can work this out. Senator Sessions, we appreciate your time this morning. Thanks so much for joining us, and happy Thanksgiving. Thank you.